Hello, everyone. Ah, welcome back, Roop. Um, welcome back, everybody, to Let's Stream Daggerfall for the last time. We are in wherever the hell this is. Which is the final dungeon. Thank you very much, everybody, on the V-Streams for joining me tonight. We've just done three hours of foundation. You've all sat through that. I'm sure this will be a absolute cinch. Hi, Boyjian. How goes? So we, I'm getting, I'm getting Half Life um, Two vibes here. Whoops! Swab I just cast. Shock, maybe. So we appeased the seducer, but I'll kill her anyway. That was weird. Oh, I've got levitation on the go. Ow, ow. Oh, she's, she's still around. She's still around. First, frost, first Frost Daedra ever. Can I carry any more stuff? Yeah, we didn't think of that, did we? Never mind. Hopefully we don't have to carry anything. Mind you, I can just drop the gold. Hmm. All right. So we've got four floating doors, a lever. Uh, I can't help but notice, though, that we've also got some areas we can fly to, which are semi-hidden. Heal? Nah. Fine. Like here. We can't get through there though. There's a door down here. Which again we can't get through. And over there as well. I've been told that I might like this dungeon by someone. Um to put, you know, some work in it and stuff like that. And then the one there, okay. And that's the guy who's laughing. So there's a lever there. Which sends that down there, so that doesn't matter too much to us, because we can fly. And so this lever probably does the same thing to that. Okay, so we can ignore them. So that means the doors are the only thing left to uh hey what well, let's heal um let's okay. definitely a change of pace that's for sure Curious. Oh, hang on. Maybe these are opening. Aha! Maybe. Maybe these are open because there's four, four, four doors, right? And maybe these are opening um, or are stopping these barriers. Hmm. Maybe I'll just open them all. It's my card pose from Foundation. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So we'll open that one. And that one's open. Open that one. So they're all open. Something finds... Someone finds something very funny. And that is indeed now open, so we'll give it a save. Oh no, it's not open. He seems quite quite unique because he's a well a different model. Hmm.
That's not open. That's not open. Maybe there's something on there. We can't rush to get our mana back, which is annoying. Nice. No, that's really good, Rube. Some bragging rights, that's for sure. Okay, at least I can rest here. Let's go um, floating around again. This one's open. Okay, one's open, that's all we need. Maybe different combinations of opening and closing those doors, open different ones, but we've got this one, so that's where I'm going. Hmm. It's gotta be it, right? Because this doesn't go anywhere. I'll wear my mouse out further, just in case. Ah! Made it. So if we close this one. Hmm, let's see if we can open that one down. Yeah, that one hurts. Okay, so let's just try this one. I'm gonna forget that, you know, I can't levitate at some point. How do you do this without levitating? That's the thing that... <laughs> Kind of has me confused about all this. It makes me think that this isn't the way I do it at all. There's also another small island, if you like, further up, isn't there? Maybe that was just... Alright, this is open. We'll go in here. Another spider. Oh, here we are. This is a, this is an old, old possessor trick of, of making things kind of... Well, it's just a gaming trick, really, of making things weird by putting things on the ceiling. Ah, does it? Ah, that's... Okay, so you don't have to load tight. That's fair enough, then. I'm going to rest in here. Yeah, because the statue casts Levitate, but say you get... Alright, Levitate's run out now. How do you get out of here? You can't exactly jump down again. Yeah, there is something there. Look at that. 
sneaky. All right, let's see if this opened anything. Okay. Keep feeling I'm going to plummet to my death <laughs> at some point. Right, that one's. I'm a bit wary about saving in here. Yeah, I'm just, you know, in case I, like, um, wreck everything somehow. How are you doing, Dan? Still angry? That's the one with the spider. So I think this is new. Follow it because it's still levitating. New species of creature has entered your dungeon. One proud Bavarian. Thank you very, very much for the follow. You are now one of the people. You can climb on the on the void walls. That's great. That's pretty fab. Two liches. <laughs> Tells me we're going in the right direction. <laughs> well, so many of you YouTube content ages of content ages ago. Happy to have Twitch recommendation. Nice. But well, welcome in. Hmm. We're just uh, finishing Daggerfall. So a fair warning, obviously. Major uh, spoilers for Daggerfall. I can't remember what our main aim is here, you know. Going to find a big, yeah, the big green gem. Well, nothing in here. You really think the, the fault? I mean, it might be. Uh, so we got green leaves and twigs. You reckon that's going to be... Uh, I, I instantly dismissed the floor pile and I shouldn't have, but I did and I was right to. Yeah. And this is one in here. Or one of these bodies lying around. I'm too far away, but it's probably from this corpse. Which again has loads of gold on them. 2,000 gold sat in this room. Yeah, nothing in here. So what was the point of all this then? Of course, like much of Daggerfall, the point was pointless. I'm going to save it here and just send this up, see if there's anything under this. There isn't. But that would be like a cool place to hide something, right? So what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> 
could levitate up there, of course, but we don't have infinite mana, so... Unless we keep resting, but... The game might not let us rest in a certain area that we need to, so I'd rather not take the chance. We could climb. When climbing is quicker than the ladder, or the lift. Oh, worse. Definitely worse. So, yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so. Hmm. Just walking on the. Walking. <laughs> That's weird, Ezra, but I'm glad you're doing okay. I hope. Worst ladder I encountered. It's got to be part of, like, um, probably in Deus Ex somewhere. A certain... The, the, the ladder fall that, 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 that most... Um, sticks in my head was in a, a missile... Su miss, missile? Missile? Silo thing? Nah, I think, I think Deus Ex is uh, the worst one. You're still there. Don't know what getting in here will do us first. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll get that guy, but so what? There's plenty of those in uh, Half-Life 2. Cell. Yeah, you do. You need to be able to fly. Well, apparently this um, this statue up here gives you levitate gives you levitation, but doesn't seem to be working for me. And hi. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether these are um, just here to put you off. Oh, dude, damn it. Um, it's fine. <laughs> so we've been in these two rooms. So we've been in there. Been in there. Else we need to get to. There's one up there that we haven't unlocked yet. And there as well. So these two are still to do. I think. And the only thing that seems to be changing anything are these doors. If we flick them all again. Not that one because it's trapped so I don't think that one does anything okay Just run and we try those two. That's the only thing that we've got left. Ooh, okay. So it definitely changes something. This could be the one with the upside down room. It is, okay. So the only one we've got to do is that one in the far corner. I might drop something in here. 
if I remember how to use the. So if I just drop. <laughs> okay. So if I just remove that, some loot there, which might work as a marker, I don't know. At least that tells me that I've been there. There's that one I need to get into. And the doors definitely change stuff. Good, Ezra. I'm glad. So that one. Okay, so... That's the trap one. Close that, open that. Uh, still locked. How come you're grumpy, okay? What's up? Thank you, Death. I mean, I, it's, fairly, it's fairly obvious that these are the answer something to do with these. I just have to get the right combination. It's fairly easy to check. Now they're all closed, which is unlikely to be it. So I'll just open like one at a time. There you go, it's open. All right, Ezra, have a good one. Thank you for your for your company. Enjoy your coffee and stuff. Okay. This looks fairly in depth. Search everything for doors. Everything. Yeah. I will loot just in case like they have a key on them or something. Curious. Yeah. Does that just open that? That'd be handy. Okay. Yeah. More levers. Oh, I see how it is. No, that's just that just makes it freaking. What are your favorite sounds from the Elder Scrolls game? For me, it's the purring spider, Cliff Racer scree. I don't know what nee 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 means. Try that one. This is fairly annoying because we're at a corner. Why, why even bother? Okay. Okay, that's probably an important lever since it was guided by a dozen levers.
Hmm. Going to marry the cliff racer. I, I think that the cliff, ra cliff racer screes the only sound in Morrowind that's a bit of a bit of a meme. Most most of the um, it's not a bad sound effect. It's only because you know they're the way cliff racers are. Alright, so I think we've got what we came here to do. Let's go up this way. Yeah, so he's dead. Okay. <laughs> makes sense, Tail. Makes sense. Okay, yeah, so we have explored all this. So we threw that lever at the end of that corridor, which is the thing we needed to do here. So this top door is now done. God, what's the point of having a repel thing and then just you fall off straight away? So we, um... Just drop, uh... That. So that may have done something out here. Maybe this dude? Wherever he is? Yes. Okay, let's not get him yet though. Let's uh Yeah, I might have to go down there and rest. And save before I fight him in case he kills me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Save it. Is that him? It is. Get back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Lord just died, okay. And in here there is... Whoa! Okay. Save, it's fine. Oh no. My pyramid, go away, mine. My pyramid, get off it. Mine. My pyramid, my pyramid. Ancient Lich, oof. I'm thinking the pyramid is important, yes. Alright, we'll save on the pyramid. So that's the first um, part of the dungeon done. Next thing we gotta do is open this. Where do we come out at then? Here. Alright, let's start from the beginning then. So we come out here, jump into here. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh well. <laughs> I wanted to jump on the. Uh... Tomb. Ah! Repel! <laughs> Probably. Right, maybe I won't try and get on that thing. Where is it?
Oh boy. Alright, let's go down there. Go and see these vampires. Oh, they're fighting. Oh boy. Just a second there, just wait. I'll be back in a bit. Hi. Let's get rid of all these. Oh, he's still alive. Uh oh. I hope I can um, levitate after this. Sexy vampires, aren't they always? No, no, not not if they're um, Nosferatu or whatever they are in Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, we didn't. I don't think we'll. I don't think we'll. No one told me to. Um, I don't think we'll need to. I don't think we'll need to recall and stuff to anchor in that. And I forgot all about it. Alright, let's go and flick this. Oh, that does that. Okay. Kill this guy. Thank you for the mana. Second. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Let's get on this. Graves on a floating island in the abyss. I wonder who is b buried here. <laughs> yes, yeah, anything's not a bad idea. Let's check there's nothing with these. The game could pull something like. Like that. Here lies the spirit of Benefactor, though his body still guards the way. Hmm. I don't know. It's a weird, weird sound effect, isn't it? I guess it was just the first one on the list. They were getting bored, so yeah, we'll just use that one. Okay, this is up and down. Sweet. Maybe that opened the... Uh... Trap door? Maybe. Some stuff up there as well. Yeah. What's this rubbish? It is open, it looks like. Actually, let's maybe go in here first, just in case. So I haven't thrown that lever just out there. Huh. You guys been having a party? Hello? So I guard the way. Speak only my name and I'll grant you passage. 
not benefactor, unless it was Caterpillar. Hmm. I'm not going to pretend I know. <laughs> Kevin. That's probably why I was forgotten. Oh, I can't I can't switch this until we get his name, I think. I don't know his name. And it will not be in the journal because there's nothing in the journal. I mean I, I'm Is this something that I would the the, the, the game told you like twenty hours ago. Is that what this is? <laughs> it might have even been two hours ago, to be fair. No. Okay. I typed in benefactor. Maybe I spelt it wrong. <laughs> so the answer's around here, yeah? That is correct. Okay, maybe I'm spelling it. Yeah, so... Is it Benny a factor? Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I'm typing. That's what I put. <laughs> Nothing happens. It doesn't say if you're... Oh, that's really helpful, isn't it? So I got it right, but I didn't know I got it right, so I could have screwed it up. Let me just reload. Tableau should be open, yeah. I mean, I might have typed it a couple of times and he closed it again or something, but you'd expect him to go, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, cool, right, now the way's open or something. You'd expect, like, something to happen. There is that weird sound, but that, there's lots of weird sounds in the game, so... That doesn't mean a lot. Because <laughs> I, I did click this. Where is it? Is it this one? That one. That one. That one. Benefactor, yeah. Um. Seems so. Although, you know, I did, uh... Yeah, well, it's... Thing is, I mean, R, right, in this game is... is rest, and then T is transport, it makes sense, but it could also be, like... A different way around somehow. I don't know. Right, so there's absolutely nothing. It's only when you click on him um, that the sound happens, not afterwards. Yeah, now it's open. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But all right. So I did get that. So well done for me. Yeah. 
Hi, Caleb. Doing well, thank you. How are you? Alright, what did that do? Certainly didn't open this. Hey, Caleb. Yes, I am. Oh, hi, Aways. I didn't say anything bad about you when you left. Um, I'm glad that everything's sorted out. All right, can I now maybe flick that switch up there? Is Tiger Pod nearly done? I don't know. Um, making our way through the last dungeon, though. It's been pretty good apart from one bit so far, where some guy asks you his name, and you give him the name. And then nothing changes. <laughs> Hmm. I think the answer is definitely inside the pyramid now. I don't know. I don't think there's anything down here. I would never, I would never badmouth someone for leaving my stream at an inopportune time to do other things. As if this could be the, the only thing happening in the world right now. So this was the only thing. In here. I don't know if it was on the VOD, was it? Because you left just before. Oh no, of course, yeah, it'll be on the... Um, Which one? Hmm. That's annoying that that hasn't really led anywhere. Everything so far has been vaguely um, logical. Which is a change. Okay, Tell, yeah, thank you. This is one of the, the I guess, the easier um, dungeons to um, give hints for because everything's really quite nicely linear, sort of laid out. There's no winding paths that lead through half an hour of passages that don't go anywhere, right? Alright, so a lot of dead people in here. The spider guy! Hi. Or the spider guy. Or the E spider guy. You were supposed to grab the napkin 20 hours ago. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, Taylor. It is a nice change of pace. I mean, why this archway here? Nothing there yet, though. Nothing else on any of the graves, and that doesn't say benefactor. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Oh boy. That's back on, but I don't think that matters. You've got to get down here for something, apparently, to get that. Oh boy, to get that one over there. But I have. What are we doing, Mike? We're climbing up the walls of the abyss. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Drinking beer and watching the stream. We're in the last Daggerfall dungeon. Um, it's gone well up to now. Maybe now I can flick this switch up here. And I'm wondering whether I can just climb up to it and then uh, just jump off and do it that way. 
just for like funsies. Ah, yeah, I knew it would do that. Yeah, so it could be like R for ride the horse um, and T for, you know, time, but it's not. It's transport and, and rest, which, you know, so it could go either way. But like, like like someone said, T is used in like Morrowind and stuff like that. So that's why I keep defaulting to And I've never got used to the controls in this game, or at least the, um, the shortcuts. And I know I could have changed it, but I thought, no, I'll get used to it. I never have, never have. Anyway. No. I might need a hint. If only because... Um... Well, let, let me just get back to... Okay. Yeah, so I mean, the, the sound effect is... Ah, ah over there um the sound effect is as you click on him if it was afterwards you no know, after you've typed the right thing in then fair enough well if i go to like here And I, and I ask you, is the next stage up or down from where I am? Could you answer that? Ah, okay. See, that, that helps. Thanks. Just lets me uh, know, know what sort of direction I'm going in. So we've opened something down here. You think. Oh. <laughs> You think. <laughs> okay, so it's down. All right. So there's something... I'm going to flick all these switches again. If I can. Definitely some weird noises there. I think I want that open. Yeah, maybe. All right, I can't flick that again, which I'm thinking is probably a good thing. It looks like, ha yeah, it gave me Half-Life vibes when I uh, first saw it. You just end up flicking everything, that's the thing. Not seeing anything opening up in the abyss. I worry that with all these flicking switches though, I'm just like resetting a lot of stuff that I don't need to. And everything has to be in a specific... I was like, ooh, it's open! So no, that's, that was before. You know, I could be going backwards on myself. I opened it. So... Good? I'm, I'm less keen on this, you know. It was one of the gravestones. I think you had to click it too, too many times. Oh, you see, it's it's this lack of of, of feedback. Because <laughs> now there's this, and I'm like, 
So this is going to be like, well, you, you, you know that, that switch that you flicked before? You now have to uh, flick it and then flick it back and then flick it back and then it will open. It, it's that sort of thing. But there's no way of telling. Which I'm getting the feeling is what this is now. Because I think that, you know, that's when he starts looting the sort of logical thing. Because you sort of like approach a problem involving switches, and then when you've solved that problem, those switches should then have no relevance. And to be fair, they might not. See, so tells like I can tell you, I can tell you that chopped off, and that says to me because you may have shut that. Ice, yeah, that says to me that this is just like a pretty much a trial and error thing of like I'll try and flick this and that might have opened that trap door but I need to flick that to do something earlier as well can we make it up here or not probably not it's gonna be close oh damn it yeah I just talked me through it <laughs> I don't even know where I am now though that's the problem because this is this is this is you know it's it's the stage where it's like it's practically impossible to know what will work and it's pure trial and error and there's no logic to it and that's when I'm like kind of less inclined to give it my you know the time that it will be required I'm on grave to stone island let me should I just check that the trap door isn't open now it's best if they're like uh, doom switches and once you push them you can't push them again exactly yeah then you know it's done, you can switch it off from your head. Rather than having to backtrack thinking, ah, but that switch has a dual purpose and it's used for this puzzle and then half an hour later it's used for that puzzle. That's, um, that's bollocks for me. I think it's the levers in the island. What do you mean you think? <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. The only thing is, now I've got to um, work out how to open this again. This is where I'm going to get annoyed, because I, now I have, like, actually backtracked. Although I think it might actually be this one. I know. I am, I am, I'm being nice. That's me being nice. <laughs> There's the pig switch again, yes. Yeah, I can't get in there now. Dag nab it. The pick switch is odd, right? <laughs> Thanks, Tail. Appreciate it. Because where are we now? Where, where, where are we at? Um, it's... Alright, that's open. And that's closed. Yeah. So at least we know where we are, yeah? So it's the second trap door. If I take a lift, that's the noise they make. Yeah, uh, like a squealing, dying pig. So now I touch gravestones? Or do I still need the... I'd prefer not to get in there because I have before and I flicked that lever once. I'll press each one once. Okay, no feedback of any of them apart from that one.
But Tally's been very nice. Very, very helpful. Oh. Yeah, now I start moving backwards, right? Alright, so... <laughs> so, the gravestones open the first one. They do not open the second one. The second one is probably the lever in the island. I just like get up this way. Yeah. Just get my uh, pickaxe out. What if you could actually just glitch inside it? <laughs> it it seems possible. I mean, Gaza. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, they they put a lot of work into this. And doing this without levitation, like what? Okay, yeah, so that's a gravestone. Yes, yeah, so that does that. All right, okay, so that's what that is for. That always com confused me, but that's, that's cool. All right. So next, it's this one. And this one has nothing to do with the graves. Pretty sure. Should we try that one? How can you do this without levitate? How on earth? I can't touch that one. Witchcraft. No, I couldn't do it without Telekeeper. Well, I mean, I couldn't do it without looking up the frickin' answers. Somehow. The other thing is, this was open. I probably accidentally closed it. There aren't that many levers in this level, you know. This one is now locked. So I'm thinking that's the one that opens the trapdoor. There's no other tip. There's, there's only those, those down there. It's where we came in. There's one there. Which I think is purely for that floating rock. And then this one up here, which doesn't move, although there is no floating rock here, but yeah, that's. Is that because. Yeah, this one's confusing me.
I don't think the coffin's anything. The floating coffin? Could be, of course. Yeah. You know what? In this game, you can't <laughs> kill essential NPCs. No one complains about that. Yeah, which I probably do. Probably do have a... Uh... Let's just check it out now. Just, just randomly just check it. Don't remember which way it is. Well, what an exciting final dungeon this is, running around, well, floating around, flicking switches. Isn't this the ending you all wanted? This is what it's all been building up to? It is a change of pace, to be fair. That is purely just for movement. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. But for sane people, there's only one freaking switch I can switch. It's this one. It doesn't open the gate, so I don't know what to do. The first session wasn't too bad, because that made sense. That, that was that was fairly logical, you know, I mean, you had a certain amount, you had a finite amount of things to uh, to bother with. Oh, is this one as well? Um, the benefactor guy, you know, it makes sense in, in the context of the... Uh, of the dungeon. Doesn't... not implemented very well. It didn't tell you you got it right. <laughs> But see, this place thing is moving, so I don't know whether like things have to be in a specific location. Like when this reaches its destination, it will then open, because that would also like like really suck. I don't think it will be that though. It looks like all of these levers are for movement. And nothing's actually changing this. Uh, so... The force fields are grave still. Oh, that's annoying. I thought this was, um... There are six gravestones. Among them's a conspicuous white one. I like a death just giving up and giving me the answer. I, I appreciate that, actually. If you click on it, the following phase will appear. If you click on this gravestone four... Hang on. If you click on gravestone four, you will hear a groaning sound. The gravestone opens one of the trapdoors inside the Great Pyramid. Right, I got that. Clicking Gravestone 1 will also produce a groaning sound. Once you've clicked Gravestone 1, levitate down. There's a cavern inside a lever. Right, which is 1? The rightmost from where I'm standing now. Because, I mean, it depends where you're stood, right? Okay. Let me just uh, rest. Oh god. Oh my god, the weird dance was there the whole time. 
I was sure it was the freaking switches. All right. All right. You must reach elevator platform three. Lever at the entrance of the. All right. Let's let's see how we go. Damn it. <laughs> Yay! Okay. New area. Lever there. Save. Wow. First try. There's always a silver lining by Garfield. So I like that. <laughs> you can, but it's annoying ways. Because all those switches that I thought were um, there to open the gate and to be fair, entirely could be. Um, were for levitation platforms. The thing is, if you know what you're doing, right, that wouldn't take long at all. But the trial and error it takes to work out that, oh, it's it's these, uh, these gravestones. Yeah, yeah. important we won't flick anything yet there seems to be a lot of things to flick tempted to go down there and kill all them they are killing each other so I don't think I've met those things before. Oh, the tigers. Okay. Can't you guys just get along? Yeah. 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 All right. Oops. I don't know why I cast there, but see now we have. If you don't have levitate, this is what you've got to do. <laughs> this is... This is how you get things done in Daggerfall if you don't have levitation. Yeah, screw that. So that comes up to there, and there's a lever there, so that'll be for that. There's a thing here, but straight up from there, there's probably... That'll move this, yeah? Down. Huh. Didn't expect that, but okay. Alright, so that's that's just... That seems unnecessary to have two platforms doing the same thing. But maybe this is for this. It is. Okay. Okay. So we can forget about all that. That's nothing.
Right. So, we'll start here. Um, so the mountain. I'm going to rest on it. Because <laughs> you can rest. <laughs> Not a very comfortable place to have a sit down. Clicked on that three times, which means it should have reset itself to ah to being clicked once, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Something like that by Carful. Ah! God. All right, okay. Hmm. Right, that's not where we came in at. Or is it? No, it is. It is. This is a really cool area. So this continues round. Ah! I don't want to go in here. That might have been a bit of a trap, I'm not sure. Continues round to here. And that moves up to there. So a lot of this is for people without levitation. That's go where the hell that's going, I don't know. The key thing is this bit, I think. And now that's not magically held. And I'll flick that. Which is good. If anything changed down here then. I flicked a thing. Yeah, so there's, there's that over there, which I probably, if I jump on that or that, it will send me back up. That made a noise. So these random noises are important. They they mean something. They mean something's changed. Maybe. Yeah, okay, that's moving. That makes sense. I'm not going to wait for it, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why did they decide to make it so slow? Maybe if it... Well, no, we've, we've had... Um... They might, they might, but I think we've had, um... I love the elevators that move faster than that in the past. Alright, let's click this again. Just in case. Teleport. Yeah, the, I mean, teleporters are in the game. Why don't you teleporters?
Oh, do you think that just summons a um, really slow platform? Which goes here. Now I've spent a couple of hours, well, a couple of days in this dungeon. <laughs> That's still, I went here for six hours and it's still moving. <laughs> Toasty, hello. How you doing? What's on these sides then? Ah, okay. Derp. Can't believe I missed that. You probably should be able to. Is that a trap? No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll save it. Good job. Okay. Thing is, you don't really know what you've done. Like, I don't know how I opened that magically sealed lock. I have no idea. Whoa! What I did. Good thing I was still in there. Uh, levitating even. Like, I don't have a clue. What I've... Oh, God. And actually, let's go down here. Looks like fun. No clue how I solved it. Yeah. You know what, I'm actually pretty stoked to be in a dungeon again, killing orcs and stuff. Yeah. Aha, a friend. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I think I've oh, found where we need to be. This is pretty epic. Uh, hang on. So what is fire, Daedra? Yeah. <laughs> Careful what you ask for. Oh, I'm gonna have to levitate. Oh! No, no, where am I? What the hell? Look, I'm back. Okay, this is where I wanted to be. Um, hear me! The blind god is a jealous god. Let his true servants lift up their eyes unto him, and the way will be easy. Let his true servants lift up their eyes unto him. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't spinning before. I'm almost dead. I'd love a place to rest. Um... Just right here? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> There's totally not enemies around the corner. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, we're doing this. If we set all these spinning, maybe it'll do something. Also, I'm really curious. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to uh Yeah, absolutely. Save the game.
Oh yeah, you can just climb the lava. <laughs> you can just climb the lava. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little sneak peek so we can climb up the lava wall. <laughs> Oh, uh, cool. Alright, let's see if we can, we can actually make this. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Now, I know I skipped a bit, but I can always go back down. Sounds like something pretty big and mean. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Didn't think it'd be that simple, to be fair. And not should it be, so that's fine. Alright, yeah, let's set everything spinning. Maybe that'll work. Because these have stopped now. Maybe because you haven't done it in the right order or something. Yeah, so the blind god is a jealous god. Let his true servants lift up their eyes. And the way will be easy. There's two ways up there, right? I'm not sure which is the right one. But we'll go this way to start with and then, you know, try the other one if it doesn't work. I love how you can climb on the lava walls. Aha! Uh -huh. So that is not the right way. Or maybe it is, because they're still spinning. Maybe I just won't hit that one. Who knows? Or maybe it's spinning. That's true, Farscale, that is true. Alright, this is getting a bit weird. Um, I'm saving it. Right. <laughs> I don't know, Mike. It's hard to tell how many there is. I'll just start a new game, I think. Uh, you know, I, I think I want to redo my character. Um. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a bit slow leveling up, so I think I'll just... Um, start again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is there anything different about this one? That, that is a face. Oh, hang on. All right, eyes. Wait a minute. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of a rest on this platform. All right, look at this. There's something there. All right, so let's levitate over to that. Oh, that's open. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. No, let's, uh, let's go in here. Yep. Um, I'm levitating so I can't get in it. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> Check the other eye socket. Hi. Shiagorath. At last! I was beginning to think you wouldn't get this far. A dreary place, don't you agree? Guided by a pompous upstart. He's no more god than I am. Well, carry on. We'll meet soon again, unless you are not as foolhardly as you appear. Yeah, uh, I know who that is. You could easily miss that, of course, so thanks for pointing out. Right, still can't get through this.
Why not put him like in the room? Why put him in one of the eye sockets, you know? But thank you for that tail. It's the freaking guardian from that set of series, uh, that set of games, Ultima. Um, getting there. Uh, one speaks for me, two serve me, six protect me. How many defy me? No idea. Yeah, bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at the level on the map. I can do that now. Oh, that's nice, yeah. That's pretty cool. Again, they've obviously got a lot of... They've put a lot of thought into this. Really mixed it up, so I can, I can appreciate that, that's for sure. I can really appreciate the, the, uh, the work on this. Is this answer in this video? Uh, in this in this dungeon? Or is this something that we should uh, know already? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so it's in it's in all right, so one speaks for me. But observation not reading. And that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's what I kind of wanted it to be. One speaks for me. What do you mean you can't see it? I know it's it's very slightly cut off at the top by about a pixel. <laughs> that's not really gonna to affect too much. Because I read it out, Duck. I read it out, okay? And I didn't say anything before one speaks for me, which is the first line on the screen. So, bit of a clue there. Well, nothing on his head. I'll, I'll kill these. I'm now a hat. Oh, look, a rat, a rat spawned when I rested. <laughs> Rats in the first dungeon, rats in the last. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah, the floaty stones is what I was thinking, right? I was. I know, I know I've just said that because <laughs> you said it. But um, we can maybe do that on the map then rather than running around. Oh, but it's how many stand against me. So maybe it's how many are facing away from the path? Or something like that? It's 
So why is that? Oh, okay. So one one level points you down there. Although really, it's just how many is left. So how, how many? How many is there? So we got. Uh, so we got one. We got four. One, two, three, four, five. So we got eight altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's only eight. Yeah. Um, in which case, that would be one, two, two. That one and that one. These two here are facing the other way. Should we try two? What's the worst that could happen, right? Because now, now we have to wonder, is that right? Like he's, he's not going to tell us, is he? Oh, there's something to change. Hang on, wait a minute. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Okay, it's not right. Okay. We could just type numbers in until, <laughs> until we get it. There can't be that many more. You'll know right when, okay, fine. There is feedback on this one. That's good. Um, I would have thought those who stand with um, who stand with me face in the same direction those against face us. You're on the right lines, okay. Right, there's eight, there's eight all together, right? Okay, tail, that makes sense. Thanks for confirming, though. Yeah, I appreciate that. Sometimes you get stuff right and it doesn't actually let you know. All right, maybe it's nothing we can learn from the map. Have a little closer look at them, yeah? Because maybe some have eyes, some have um, mouths and stuff like that. So the ones who speak, you know, and the one, you know, so we'll just have a little, a little look. See if they differ at all. In some way. Doesn't seem to be that. They're all the same, aren't they? A bit of a rest. I keep waiting for the uh, levitation to run out as if it's um, Morrowind. The latest true servants lift up their eyes unto him, and the world shall be easy. All right, so the real servants, which isn't us, it's these. Lift up their eyes unto him. But they're just... That, that's just spinning. It's not really lifting up their eyes, right? Power Scale, you're going to have to be, like, carrying me through that really hard, you know? You have to be there every, every week. I mean, they're spinning in different directions. Does that matter? <laughs> that's Ripple to your eyes. Oh! Lucky I caught the lava, otherwise that might have hurt. Yeah, and that just puts me back up here, which is nice. I mean... Yeah, because what I'm doing now is closing the eyes again. Which 
is not what I want to do. God damn it. Let's load the game. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to do that again. And I could... You can cheese this. I mean... I mean, one. Because there's eight. So there's only, like, one left. <laughs> but I don't know... Like, again, I don't know how you work the answer out. Apart from the fact that there's eight, and... That he listed seven of them. Tell me you're looking away from him, not your side on. Okay, yeah. So, I mean... I mean, okay, all right, well, um, good. Yeah. Yeah. Magically held, okay, it's something to do with these skulls, right? Really? <laughs> I mean, okay. No, I might, you might as well, Doc. You might as well. But yeah, that was that was. It's a logical way of going about solving the riddle, and that's what I came up with eventually. But it's, is it the way you're supposed to? I mean, it's the only answer that kind of works because he. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna try all these then. Yeah. Okay, this works. Oh hi. Yeah. This is looking, uh, you know, we got tapestries on the walls now, so. At least they made the dungeon look a little bit less like, oh my god, look at that. The first ones. This is different. Because the problem with all the Elder Scrolls games after this, Morrowind's guilty of it as well, um... Is that the the end dungeon looks exactly the same as the start dungeon? So they're trying to do something different here, which is great. Oh hi! Oh god, no! Okay, um, I guess this is where uh, I need to be. It's a great big freaking sword. Well, maybe it is, but. Yeah, look at that. The great big sword right through there. So, I mean, look at this. There's nothing else like this in the, in, in the rest of the game. So this is great. And these are all traps that are going to kill me. Can I rest on here? Oh, come on. No, they're out. <laughs> Is it like a crossbar or something? It is. Save. I don't think I want to save. Um. I will heal though. Yeah, I will save. You're right. I should save. That's one of these why I can't rest. So if I run out of levitation, what do I do? Oh, damn it. Climb up the sides of the abyss, of course. I think there's something in the wall up there, so I'm going to try and climb towards that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, man, guys. I mean, this has so much potential, and obviously for the time. I can really see how people like hold this in such high regard. Yeah, Morrowind's dungeons weren't very long. Like the very end dungeon, the very end room for Morrowind was uh, was was pretty unique. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh, God, I jumped! I totally jumped. <sighs> sure, you guys even heard me press the space bar then. All right, we're back here. It's all right. We got other options. That just kills you instantly. <laughs> Let's just do that one again. I'm gonna pick this one. Yeah, it just kills you. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. I chose poorly. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is just in the same area that we were before. Possibly what the skulls do higher up. Oh, um. Apologies, I missed it. Let me have a little look. The skulls do the following Produces a buzzing sound, teleports you into midair for the blind god, produces a drooping sound, produces a groaning sound, takes a lot of health, kills you eventually, opens a locked door, takes a lot of your health, kills you eventually, teleports you into the spiral hallway behind the locked door, teleports you on top of the blind god. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> we want this one. The one without the joy is the key. Ah, the odd one out, of course. I think this one's better. So I did find this earlier. There we are, okay. Uh, I'm gonna save it here separately though. Can you climb the sword? Okay, you can. the way you want to. This is worse than ladders. Ah! Okay. A familiar voice laughs mockingly. So, Venna, come to pay your respects properly at last? Save it again. Uh, captured, I guess. God damn it! Man. Huh. Well, not, not really, I guess. Uh, what if we? Rest in here and levitate up. Again, levitation's ridiculously useful. Oh, for Shut 
Attack! Silence! You in there? I'm gonna die? There you go. this don't even think about it mate can I sleep now there you go because I need to be on the ground yeah for some reason or oh, I mean that that auto mod thing that that kind of works <laughs> yeah yeah that was that was fair enough <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll just um, I'll just quick save this one Yeah, that, that one that one makes sense. <laughs> it's probably the first one that has. Right, who's left? Who's still freaking laughing? Well, I've no <laughs> laughing here. <laughs> See, I don't know with that with that with the with the ding 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 whether it's him blocking or me just hitting the cage. <laughs> There's loads of them. Oh, hang on. Oh, gonna run out of. Uh... out yeah I'm getting wrecked by these spells but I think that's all of them no there's one over there be able to move or enjoy this a lot more nice if those guys aren't there Nice, right, so I can rest in here now. Ah, oh, there. Hi. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fine. Okay, one left. I think. Stop laughing. Oh, there's another one as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. That's how it goes. I like the dead lords in this. They're a bit like um, Sigvald from Warhammer. A little bit, seems like. All right, so what's what the hell is going on here? What is this? So I don't know whether this game, this 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 room is interesting but pointless. Like this is the trap room, which I'm tending to lead, you know, lean towards that it is.
Let's just see. You know, I can I can get places now. I can move around. Can New I species of creature shoot myself out dangerous. with this? Uh, Canting Binky, thank you very very much for the follow. Ow! Ooh! Is that you doing that or something else? Noise. Noise is important. Random noises. Nothing's appeared. New species of creature has entered your dungeon. Gothic Blast, thank you very, very much for the follow. You're now one of the people as well. All right, hang on. So this is pointing at that. This does something, right? Pew. Straight through there. Why? No idea. But that's definitely a thing. So... Um, is this in the way? No. Doesn't look like it. I don't think it is. So it's definitely something to do with these. Oh! It did, the, it, it did the thing! Something happened. Something's changed. Um. Ooh! Alright, so you shoot that up and then it moves the sword. And then you get into. Alright, that is freaking cool. That's cool. If you stood in the notch, you got shot up. I, I get I was a bit clunky there because I was levitating and stuff like that, but I mean, also, you can go talk to Shea Garth. Um, is he around here? All right, let me just uh, just save it as no, save it as um, big sword. He's behind a hidden door in that room. You get teleported to. Is this relevant to everything I'm doing now, or is, have I missed it? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> and so ends our story, because I fell off the sword. Not often you say that. Okay, but that's all like in the past. I can I can move on. So I didn't I didn't see all that. Sadly, but I worked it out anyway. You seem to have skipped. Yeah, somehow. Answer correctly, name yourself. Okay. Yeah, I tend to. I I, I seem I seem to have um, kind of wrecked that with um, with levitating. I think that was what wrecked that. But I don't know why I missed Shigarath. Probably again because I'm levitating. Yeah. Yeah. out anyway so yeah they would wouldn't they I mean and, and reasonably to, to think that but no I actually fell off the sword to my death not on it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. excuse me if you yeah I just I just went straight for the crossbow again Well, there's only so much you can really uh, do in that room, isn't there?
They went all out, didn't they? They really went all out. Again, you know, obviously I, I can't levitate. What do I do? <laughs> I saved it. I just saved it. I just saved it. This building, this, this seems important. Let's check the, the map again to see just how, how much work they've put into this. I mean, this is pretty epic. That's pretty, pretty badass. Ah, turn up the voices. I'll put sound up. But. And then shut up. Going to levitate across here now. Because there's a green gem. Is this it? Is this it is this the end of the game or just where you touch the green gem to go to the other massive dungeon let's find out Well, I touched it. And uh, we're back here with Nulfiger, who says, Not so vast, Venner. Didn't you want to see the result of your handiwork? Look now into the Book of Time. Read upon its pages the history of what shall pass within the next few days. Read uh, fate as it shall be recorded upon the Elder Scrolls. Oh, that name drop. Oh. Well, good for the King of Worms. I forgot we gave the uh, the totem to him, the idol. And he's joined the gods of oblivion. Well, good for him. Your work is done, Venner. The world is no longer as it once was. Such is the way of things. Oh, and if you tell my lich statue to shut up, the door to my chamber will open. I know that. And there we are. Daggerfall is completed <laughs> what <laughs> i fell off the dagger that's true i did i did shut up ah <sighs> well <laughs> now become the arch mage of the college. Daedra summoning now, Litzel. That's what. That's the only thing left to do, I think. I did. Yes, tail. Absolutely. So that that last dungeon was really good. I can see what, what, you, what you said about um, the first two sections being annoying. The second section was especially annoying, I think. With the lack of feedback on, on things you were clicking. But, um, oh, let me just turn the uh, sound effects down again. But, uh, yeah, I think they did a great job with the last dungeon. New personal best, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, Telekeeper and uh, Death, for the uh, looking at the walkthrough and stuff and kind of pushing me through. Couldn't have done it without you guys. 
And uh, we finished finished Daggerfall. I didn't expect much of a cutscene, and you can tell that that that, that they were like to the voice actor. It's like okay, you've got all this to say, but we're kind of short on memory, so you've got like three seconds to say it. So it's like okay, so I'm back in memory and went and he did this and did that, and then you did this and that, and the fine, but it's done. <laughs> Ah, so I, you know, I don't mind the lack of a cutscene and stuff. It's not about that, you know. It, it's about the journey, which has been long and arduous, mostly due to you know the character build and me leveling so slowly, and then having the delay on not being able to use Mithril. I think it is. There are seven endings you can get. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty nice how they spread it out that much. No, they don't. Not everyone hates us. We're, we're, we're popular and stuff. We got a house and we got a boat. Where is a oh, one place? One place hates me. The mighty clip clop of. Uh. Where is her? I do have a boat, yes. Venom, my beloved son has brought uh, your name to my attention and suggests you may have some business to discuss. I understand that we have mutual interest. Interesting. What the hell is this? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the castle, and then we're going to the Mage's Guild to summon a Daedra. I'm not. I'm not too worried about that. You know. That's right. Yeah, because of course we're famous. I don't know if there's a way to check that. Maybe if we look here, um, up there, here. And look at affiliations. Yeah, look at that. Everyone freaking loves us. Good, Faust Guild. Finally. The mighty Clip Clop who can... Uh, Walk on his head. Do you know who I am? These guys have anything to say to me? You know. Cause I, you know, I'll finish the game. Give me some, some stuff, yeah. These guys are gonna attack me again. Got absolutely nothing for me. Yeah. All right. We got a house that's over here. Bender's house. There it is. Of the guy who saved the world, yeah. Ah, so, Daggerfall, Daggerfall done. Well, so I was very impressed with the last dungeon. Second section, second sort of section was it was a bit annoying. Uh, beyond that, yeah, I really, I really did like it. So, uh, whoever predicted that I would like it, yeah, I did. I love how they went all out with it, you know, and, and changed it up from the last 40 hours of gameplay. <laughs> it's 
It's all tedious at times, yeah. I mean, the whole game is tedious, so it just go, it's, it's part, you know, part of the course. Yeah, I mean, that that one where the answer was one, a lot, a lot of them just kind of, like, fell, fell flat a bit, didn't they? Because there's A in total. You list seven of them. No dangerous summoning. Although, hang on. No, 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 I no, wait a minute. Somewhere down here. Of course, what it'll do then is say, we need the money. Start like a fall three million years. No, it wasn't that long ago. Um, this has been a relatively short stream playthrough thing, but it's about half a year, I think. I think we're episode 20 something. Oh, we know, we, I am, we know a coven as well. We do know a coven um, area. In August. Yeah, there you go, about half a year then. Yeah, so it's not it's not been that long. It's felt longer. Because the game is a little repetitive. Maybe yeah, maybe the common thing will be easier. Than finding this. somewhere around here but I think I need like a hundred thousand gold I know it's somewhere like round here yeah that's a thing whereas just traveling over the place now well I've got it in Daggerfall in the bank. Today is Lordus the 14th of Sun's Heist, day of summoning for Malakath. Do you, Venna, wish to risk your life and very soul by summoning Malakath to our world? Absolutely. 200,000 gold. Right, so. To get 200 grand, just control it in. No, some of the mighty clip flop, right? Go to the bank. There's a bank over here somewhere, isn't there? Um, Sure, a bank over this way. Yeah, power scale. We're, we're just trying to summon a day. I need two hundred thousand gold. Yeah, that's exactly my plan, Doug. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna um, take out all the money that I've saved, and then I'll take out the rest as a loan, and then. Probably have my soul ripped apart by a danger lord, so, um, you know. There's an indoor cover in the city of Dagpole, also. I could come in handy if I can't put it all in my wagon, I guess.
but I mean, frankly, you guys should be uh, should 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 be amazed that I remember that coven was there. Pretty pleased with myself about that one. All right. So, yeah, I got ninety-one grand, which I want to withdraw. You can't carry that much. So this is where it gets annoying, right? Because how are you supposed to have 200,000 on you? Because I could... What am I, I would have reminded you if you hadn't remembered. <laughs> A letter of credit. Letter of credit. What, like 200,000? Just like that? Okay. So I withdraw that and I want to borrow uh, 11,000 11, for no reason and withdraw 11,000 11, yeah I do Oh, it's not. One percent fee. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. But I need twice that. If I had 900,000, no, I just got 1,100,000, how about I end up with 10,000? Yeah, deadbeat. Don't just go to another bank, another branch. I only took out 10,000. Oh, god damn it. I don't get it. <laughs> Fine, that works for me. <laughs> I'm just putting too many zeros now. Okay. Right. So. It's fine. It's good. We got enough. summoning. Oh, it's uh, Namira now. Yes. Namira did not uh, deign to grace our world this night. Come back another day. Um, is that money gone then? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Was that 200,000? <laughs> For like nothing. Wow. What? Oh, hello. Oh, this is the punishment for trying to... S trying to summon the danger, right?
No, but I will next time because I'm coming back. Um, because we're just gonna like travel, like here, and then we'll travel back. And I'll save it. And we'll try it again. Uh, what's the uh? Oh. Oh, for Christ's sake, just yes, I do. What the hell? Where's that gone? It's at 300,000 like two days ago, and now it's 100,000. Or maybe it just didn't work. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Hang on, let me just reload. Three hundred thousand. Okay, this is a great use of money. It's wonderful. Who's not gonna reload? Mirror stay gone. So you want power? Yes. My, uh, you may covet power. Yes. But so for if you know why you want to, you want, do you want the Mayron's razor? It's very special. The Mayron's razor. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Just do one thing. And you have it. Hmm? Child have I that needs to be punished, yes? You will do this for lovely. Lovely, the Mayron's razor, yes. Yes, okay. Yes? Okay, hmm. Uh, mortal creatures brave. Good, good. Now, go to Aragoth. Aragoth. Kill Frost Daedra there. It thinks safe. Ha! We slaughter Frost Fresh tight and everywhere. You kill it and Hooded Woman. Her Caroline Morfield in Night's Moth. Good, good. The Marin's Razor. Um, got good, good. The Marin's Razor for you. Kill Frost Daedra and see Carolina Morford before 64 of Mundus Nights. Now go. Dagon awaits. A quest! Yes, yes. And that'll be in our journal. Everything will have written down. Absolutely fine. There you go. 64 days. Okay. All right, so Anrarugoth. Yes. No, wait, no, no, no. That's not where I want to be. If I search for Goth, no, because it's it's not going to do that. Oh, there it is. Thought we were done. Well, we now yeah, we're summoning a Daedra. I wouldn't do this in in, in the normal playthrough because I didn't know what it was and I thought I'd break stuff. And but um, this wouldn't take too long because this is a random dungeon, right? We just got to find the uh, Frost Daedra in it. Oops. This won't be any trouble at all. Things are Roger now. You gotta go and see that lady. Yeah. And she'll give you the razor. Giants, guys. You guys like giants, right? I may actually be able to use Mayron's razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like Tetra? <laughs> this is a nine dungeon. Yeah. I could console this, couldn't I? I probably will. 
Because we're not getting anything new over here, are we? Um. Yeah, man. Is that it? Hey! Thank you, thank you, Tell. Thank you. Been fairly um, pleased with my sort of titles and stuff lately. I am healed. Oh, come on, freaking there. Exactly, Cell. So. Oh, we have to go and see um, Silver Castle in Nightsmoth. Which is probably a tavern. I would have thought. The gold gnome. That's not where we want to be. Um. There it is. All right, here we go. Daedric quest about to be turned in. Two hundred thousand gold. What happens if you uh, don't? There she is. That's definitely her. What happens if you don't turn in your um your loan? What happens? There she is. Oh, you're Venna, yes. The Caroline Morfield here. I understand you successfully corrected one of Mehran's Dagon's strained children. Excellent. Here's Mehran's uh, razor, as you were promised. Enjoy it. Don't think we'll meet again. Goodbye. The Mehran's razor. Can't carry any more stuff. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's see what it's like. I always press I for inventory. That's never gonna change. So what does it do? Uh, oh, okay. Um, one target save versus magic. The Dark Brotherhood has coveted this ebony dagger for generations. This mystical artifact is capable of slaying any creature instantly. Victims of the Mayroon must uh, of the of the razor must slay versus magic or be slain. History does not record any bearers of Mayroon's razor. However, 80 years ago, the Dark Brotherhood was decimated by a vicious internal power struggle. It is suspected that the razor was involved. Alright. We gotta go try it out, right? Let's go to, uh, where should we go? The, uh, the coven there. The Tower of Woodwing, why not? Let's go test this baby out. <laughs> nice. I mean, the thing is, I was one hit in everything anyway. Died. <laughs> oh, a giant.
Oh, that's actually a good idea, Baden. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, did we? Well, you know, we're not going to hear it like ever again. Because, you know, as, as much as I've enjoyed Daggerfall and its little nuances and stuff, I don't really feel the need to uh, play it ever again. How do you see Horse the Final Dungeon? I mean, I'm not opposed to doing that, you know. I'm here, so I might as well do it, right? Uh, fine. No, it's over here somewhere. Harkham's hold, not quite. I know it's right on the... Hmm. Privacy is old. Oh, there it is, okay. Yes, I do. What the hell is it? Yeah, Vandrons. <laughs> frickin' privateers, frickin' hold. <laughs> Mind you, this is the second time we've been back, at least. Break it up, break it up, go on, break it up, break it up, break it up. So I've got a weapon that kills everything instantly, that's pretty badass. You want to end the cave that you started? I actually wouldn't mind trying to find the end dungeon via the boat, if anyone knows how to do that. Yes, Araman, just, just like George Lucas says. Don't know why I was crawling around. Yeah. Oh, hang on, should we save it? Save the game as... Killed the rat and a bat. <laughs> Bye! Oh, I love it. I was so pleased when I killed a rat and a bat. I was so freaking pleased when I killed a rat and a bat. Back in the day. <laughs> oh, this is weapons eight. I love it. So, uh, yeah, worth 200 grand. I think the whole, you know, maybe they won't show up thing is a bit pointless because... Unless you're a really hardcore, hardcore role player, there's no way you're gonna save up 200 grand. And then be like, oh well, it didn't work. You're just gonna reload, aren't you? So I do find that a little bit pointless. Ah, oh, we're gonna 
Centaur. That guy took two hits. So does anyone know how to get to the end dungeon from the boat? Can't find a guide. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. Yeah, does the one direction matter though? Yeah, you, you, this this weapon sucks. Things are taking more than one hit to kill. The map wraps around, so you just go. I mean... Yeah, why not? No. All right, let's see if we can see it. Uh... I mean, maybe if, um... Yeah, <laughs> this is an ending. <laughs> yeah, it seems so. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, wait, no, it's just my comment on it. Oh, I got, I got, I got excited. Flying wilds, flying horse. Yeah, I like flying things. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this might be a bit quicker. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not a werewolf. Lord, uh... Anticore, but uh Alright, I'll tell you what. This'll be fine. <laughs> Cause we can just <laughs> What about buoyancy then? Okay, Cliff Cop's definitely faster. Buoyancy is the uh, water walking, yeah. Shouldn't seem to make any difference. Fine. I mean, to actually walk then. Okay. <laughs> so there's the boat. So I just go in a direction. There's the boat. Okay. It's given up. Um, are you sure this was a good idea, Death?
I just like press forward like a tiniest little bit. No, oh, yeah. no, 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 wait. <laughs> Bear in mind the dude uh, doing this is on DOS version. Yeah, so maybe they've patched it. I don't know why they would remove that though. You know, it's, it's an exploit that, that it doesn't really affect the main game or like 99% of the players doing it, so. Uh, find the end of the map with that speed. Well, the thing is, it's too fast. You just end up, well, I could levitate and do it maybe, but you just end up jumping off a cliff and dying. Exactly, yes. But you can't, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. immense. Mm. How about, how, how about like 500? More reasonable, yeah. What happens if we do it while back in the weapon boat? Well, you will see the boat. Slowly disappear. It's a great boat though, I love the face in the front. Proper Jess and the Argonaut stuff. Like if it is out here, right, how anyone has found it? Quite beyond me. There's the belt. If I just go like quite away, away from the belt. Some people do know if I travel like a full papers. But good for them, I guess. <laughs> That's not my boat. That is another boat. Because of course, the, all the boats you can get will be, because they're two different boats, right? So, that's the cheap boat. Okay, so we got the cheap boat, and was it this way? And then we're gonna find it again. So there is other stuff out here. There's something there, but there isn't. It's just uh, it's nothing. It's a smaller ship because you got a choice between two. I went for the big one, though. I do regret that because there's no difference, really, practically speaking. No idea what direction I was going in. Yeah, 
Yeah, so there's the other ship. Found that twice now. Wonderful. So that's one ship. So the other ship's like in this direction. I'm not going that fast. I think it looks faster than what it is. Yeah, so there's the other ship. So maybe it's in the other direction. Maybe it's straight up this way. But maybe it's not there anymore because I've completed the game. Not there anyway. I mean, we could just like, just try different directions, like try going north. Could be a memory thing. Yeah, it could just not be here. We're looking for the end level because speedrunners, what they'll do to finish the game really quickly is get a massive loan so they can get a ship, so they can get in this area, so that they can um, basically get to the... It's given up on the sounds. You know, give up, give um, so they can get to the end, the last dungeon, like instantly. And apparently it's in here, but uh, like I wouldn't know what I was looking for. Okay, all right. But still, this is the way to sort of a major skip, right? You don't recall any speedruns you've seen? Well, I haven't seen any. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. This is what I heard. We did find the other boat. Oh, that's something, right? <laughs> wow, okay. Freaking wow. Right? So in this massive area, there's two boats. There's nothing in this massive area, but, you know. To do, do you, do you, I mean, do you remember like which um, direction they went in? Can't sleep. God. Oh God. Ah, that's cool. Do you have the video there? I'm just, you know, I'm invested now. <laughs> you can link to it if you want. Oh god, I've broken everything. The ship no longer, the ship no longer works. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm not going to move. Alright, let's have a little luck. 20 minutes long, yeah. Yada, 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 yada. Alright, there's the ship. Hang on. Right, he's getting his loan. Yeah, it's definitely on the DOS version though, isn't it? It goes to the ship. I think that was... Northwest. Of course, it's Northwest from the other ship, because he got the cheaper ship. I can't remember where the where the cheap ship was. Southwest? Then we go northwest. Do 
Where the hell was the cheap ship? Because that's the one he's got, which makes sense. No, that's annoying me now. Now I've lost it. Of the ship now. Oh, wait, no, that's mine. That's mine again. I don't know where the white, white dots in the horizons are or anything, because we know what mine's there, right? Yeah, so you can see it. That is indeed suddenly mine. No, I just want to... It doesn't matter, but, you know. Do you have a save from before you finish the amount of child? I mean, that's probably a fair point. You're going to quite as fast. God. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe I'm missing it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be missing it. It's definitely a white dot on the dungeon. Um, in the in the. On the horizon, but I don't think it's anything. Or is it? That's it, that right there. Is it a thing or not? It's not getting any nearer, so I think that's background texture. I'm just going to call it. That is back background texture. Yeah, that's not that's nothing. So it does look like it potentially could be like a set of like points. Not that. Yeah, I keep seeing it and right there. Yeah, there it is. I think it's raining now, so it's even harder to see anything. Go away, rain. That's not my ship.
No, that's what I'm looking for. Feel the ship. I don't know which direction it was. There, I found it. Okay. Because this is where that dude teleports from for the, um, well, starts out on that video. So I'll save it here. And he goes... Northwest. What is this? All right, let's um, well, like, is it minus one or something? You can actually see it really easily from that boat. <laughs> it's like right there. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> Last dungeon. There you go. We found it. I'm not doing it again. But we have ended precisely where we started in this stream. Um, there we go. That was Daggerfall. How freaking wonderful. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, as you do. Okay, so before I wrap this up, um, I want to thank all of the people watching for uh, for your help and patience during this. It's been a a long series, but we got there in the end. Daggerfall, like for the time, pretty damn amazing. Uh, the scope of it, the little details in it. A lot of the quests here and there were, were really good, you know, some, some of the side quests were really interesting, really well scripted. The dungeons, while fun, are ridiculous and um, should have been shortened massively, in my opinion. The, the, the um, random nature of them does hurt the game, I think, um, but more so than that is, is the scope of them, the scale of them, I think, is, is, is kind of ridiculous. Because in a game like this, you have to have randomization, you know, and that's fine, but I don't think it's particularly good randomization when things can just appear behind secret doors and, you know, you got to find that one secret door in this labyrinthian dungeon in order to finish the random quest. So, um, yeah, I think that's its bigger, biggest failure. The last dungeon was great. Um, again, clunkiness of the time with 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 like lack of um, information on what was going on and all that kind of thing. But generally, you can tell they really pulled out all the stops, and uh, I think they did a, a good job overall. And, and obviously, this game is a classic, and you can see why people love it, and why people continue to uh, to mod it and and improve it. For me, uh, I'm, I'm not going to play this again. <laughs> um, it's almost been a year since my first f foray into this, when I was uh, joined by Grimoth for my tentative steps into Daggerfall. Um, and now, almost a year later, it is finished. This playthrough has been about six months long. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting journey. I'm glad that I've done it. And I'm glad I you know, can say now that I've, that I've done it. And a uh, bumpy road here and there, but uh, we got there, and I think it was worth it. Very happy to have uh, gone on this adventure with you guys. I wonder if there's like any... Um... Mm, doesn't look like there is any credits or anything I can play, but it doesn't look like it. Unless I was to shut the whole thing again, but I don't really want to do that. Alright, so... Um... If you're watching the V streams, I do thank you very much for watching and toodaloo.